we'll be talking about rectangle in this video. So let's move on to the video. Hi, I'm Carl. In this video, we'll be talking about menstruation. And basically, we are going to focus on 2D objects. So what we are going to do is basically introduce, I'm going to introduce you guys to a figure. And as we move on to further studies, um, there will be a question related to this asking you what is the area, what is the uh, perimeter, and so on and so forth of a certain figure, which is 2D. So it will involve 2D figure and all the talk about its formula and its perimeter. So to get you guys uh, introduced with the things that will come up in future. So starting off with rectangle. And rectangle is not just one 2D. There are six types of 2D figures, such as rectangle is one of them, second is square, third is uh, circle, triangle, trapezoid, parallelogram, and rhombus. So knowing that, let's go ahead and talk, start talking about um, rectangle. Now rectangle, you guys can think, since you guys don't know what rectangle is, or are kind of familiar, but we are just basically getting used to the idea of the formulas, rectangle you can think it of as a certain type of biscuit, a rectangular biscuit. So you can think of uh, this figure, the 2D figure as biscuit. So you guys can think of rectangle as a certain type of rectangular land, okay? Now, rectangle pretty much looks like this. Now, the interesting fact that is going on over here is that this side of, and this side are always equal. So in order for them to represent equal, let's just name it L. And here it's L. Here, this both sides are equal. Let's name it B. So basically, now that you know that opposite sides are equal, okay? This is equal to this, this is equal to this. So since we know that opposite sides, opposite sides are equal, there, there is something that stands for L and B. L represents length and B represents breadth. Okay, now let's go ahead and start involving some formula. So the formula for finding the area, which is basically finding how much space is there inside over here would be known as area. So if a quotient says find the right area of this figure and you know that this figure looks similar to rectangle, you would use length, which is L, times B. Okay? This is the first thing that you would do. The second is um, perimeter. Now perimeter is basically the the total length of all four sides. Which is this green boundary that I've drawn. And it's known as perimeter. Which is equal to two times L plus B because there's two L and two B's so you do L plus B and multiply it by two the next come is the diagonal now if you were to draw a diagonal line over here or from or from A, A to C or B to D you would calculate that by square root of L square plus B square so you would have to do 
square root of L square plus B square, which gives you the diagonal, the D. So these are three basic important formulas that you will use in further studies. And this formulas can also involve even in the greater studies of calculus because you would involve such irregular figure and in that irregular figure you might have a rectangle in it. I see you.